Hello everyone. So the noise texture pack just got released. It has more than 256 te noise textures in it, as you can see. And it's both up on the marketplace, on HIO, and on Gumroad. So I'll leave those links in the description. But I kind of wanted to show you how to make a cute ghosty and maybe something else from scratch. So let's go. In this pack, I added a UV distorter material function. You can easily find it by writing UV and then distort or whatever. And let's grab a nice ghost texture. I think it's on the various. No, that's actually the materials. Let's go to the textures, sprites, and we have a cute little ghosty here. So I'm gonna grab that and place it down and connect it. At the moment, you won't see anything because we still need a noise texture. And for this we need a UV distortion noise texture, so the noise normals. I'm just gonna grab that one, and that should be it for now. I'm gonna convert it to a texture object and hook it in, or hook it up. And I'll preview this texture sample. I'll make it a flat plane, and there you go. And as you can see, Ghosty doesn't feel very well because he's fully distorted. Maybe we want to lower the distortion strength. So let's plug that in and let's give this a low value, maybe like 0.1 or so. And as you can see, Ghosty feels already a little bit happier. Now we can do a lot more to this. So let's just do a few things and I'll take it from there. First off, we maybe want to change the norm, the noise effect on it, like make it bigger or smaller. We can easily do that with the scalar or factor 2 and change the noise of the UV. So at 1, it's full noise, basically one full texture, 2, 3, 10. As you can see, that gives different results. Go to 5, set the texture size, and that looks a little bit better. Okay, what else can we do? Maybe we only want to have the bottom or the side to be distorted, like there's wind. So let's configure this distortion strength. Let's grab a texture coordinate node and a component mask. We can do it from left to right, right bottom to top, whatever we want. Let's preview this. It's from left to right, okay. We can also uh, let's do that later. We have now have a component mask, and let's just in case saturate that. Oh. There, this is basically a clamp, so let's clamp it. And let's grab a lerp. There we go. We plug that in and plug that into the distortion strength. What will happen to Ghosty now? Ooh, Ghosty, you don't look that well. So let's change the values of the lerp. The input A is where the, where the texture is black, so it's on the left side and the white side is right. That's the input B. So let's change the value of the left side to something like 0.2. And we don't want any distortion on the right side, so let's make that a zero. And you get something like this. And how's Ghosty doing? Ah, Ghosty is already looking a lot better. Let's just play with the normal map size for a second so you can see what's going on. As you can see, the left side is much more distorted than the right side, uh, or the way around. Brain, always inverted. And now it's doing nothing, so let's go back to 1 or out of 5. There, go see some, very happy. What if you wanted to make it look a little bit faster, a little bit more noisy? You can do that with the normal map panner speed. Let's get a factor 2, hold down the tool, left mouse click, and hook it up. And let's change the R value, or horizontally, uh, maybe to 1. There we go. Ooh, Ghosty's going super fast. Maybe that's a little bit f too fast, so let's do it like 0.55. Oh, five. Mm, that looks sort of okay. We can also gonna give it a little bit of upward or downward motion, so maybe like 0.124 oh, or so. And. Let's do it minus there. Okay, but it's still a little bit too noisy on the right side, in my humble opinion. So let's add something to the texture coordinate. There we go. 
and this will be our offset and it will only need like a low value so let's grab a scalar actually there put that in here and maybe offset it so that one or the two ah there we go now you can see now the right side isn't distorting and that's because if you look at the saturate the grayscale is only a little bit here and everything else is white and white was zero so no distortion uh, let's preview ghosty again what if we up the noise on the left side there we go ghosty is getting really distorted on the left side there's a lot of wind going on so maybe a lower value should be all right maybe like 0.5 Maybe still a little, a little too much. Oh, that's too five. There we go. Coast is now fully happy. Now we can just hook it up to the opacity mask. Let's set it to mast. Oh, no. Mast. And we can use unlit actually. That's fine. And now we don't need to preview the texture anymore. But it's all black. Of course it is. Because we need an image of color. Ghosts are generally white. There we go. He looks so cute. Now we could also make it translucent and actually use the default lip mode. And I actually have a ghost normal map. Yes, there they exist, ghost normal maps. I'm gonna plug this into the opacity. And we need a normal. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's go back to mast. That way we actually have a normal map. That's the easiest way to show it. Let's plug in the UV distort into the normal map and grab that to the normal. And instead of image of color, let's do a base color. There. And now Ghosty is actually a bit full of metric. Look at it, how happy he is. But we can easily also do this for projectiles. And let's just go with a translucent projectile for now. Sorry, Ghosty, but I need to replace you for a few minutes. I'm going to grab a random, well, not so random, it's the one in the, my pack. Projectile texture, sprite, plug it in, and plug that into the opacity. And as you can see, you now have like a noisy projectile, which is actually really cool. I'm going to set it to unlit again. There, though, we can maybe play around with colors a little bit. So let's just remove that one. Put this in there, that goes into the image of color, and we need two nice colors. Uh, let's make a very nice projectile color, and a little bit more orangey maybe, or a little bit more red. There, and let's see what that looks like. Looks kind of okay-ish. Let's try inverting them. That looks better, but it needs a bit more brightness, of course. So let's multiply that with like a stupid high value. Like 1000, because why not? That's really bright. Let's try 10 instead, or 20. There we go. And obviously, sometimes you want to pan these things along a mesh or whatever. And you can easily do that. Let's do, just do it with a time debug time sign for now and pen it along oh actually wrong we needed to do it over here the bottom UV channel is actually for the textures over here so let's grab a texture coordinate node again and let's add this and we only want this to move on the horizontal line so let's append it the first one is horizontal, the second one is vertical, so let's do it like that. And then add that into the UV channel. There we go. But yeah, hmm, now it's tiling. So what can we do? Let's just select these textures, all three of them, and set it to clamp. That way it clamps and it won't repeat itself. But as you can see, it's moving only to the left and not all the way to the right. Let's just easily do that with a lerp. There, uh, let's try minus one to one. There we go. As you can see, the distortion is only on the left side. Hmm, maybe you want it differently. 
you can still remove the distortion strength and just lower the distortion there we go now it's moving along so yeah that's basically it for how to set up this material you can also change the texture size through here if you want uh, let's lower all these a little bit for a second and this distortion can go over there but if you want to increase or decrease the size well you can use a factor tool or a scaler plug it in now obviously it's zero so it's super super duper small but at order one how does that order five you can see that it's half the texture so in those cases you might want might want to change it from the center so scale uv's by center let's plug in a uv here get a texture scale going on here and let's change that value one is the, it should be about the normal size or actually just texture size uh, we need to do the uv channel there and then plug in this there we look at it go now it's about half the size now it's normal size we could make it even really big but then you won't be able to see it of course but yeah if you want to make it a little bit smaller you can do it like this we could still use the distortion strength we made previously and have only distortion when it's on the left side but that's all up to you of course okay with that let's go back to ghosty real quick just to finalize it we don't want this texture anymore we just want the ghost so we're gonna put the ghost into the opacity and look at ghosty go he is so happy we plug it in here as well and now we have a very bright ghost let's make it masked for funsies so we can use the normal map again in the default lip mode and just plug this in here for funsies Oof, ghosty you look a little bit weird that's probably because you're a different color so let's go back to a slight white like oh, they... there we go but actually ghosty also looks cool when you disable it would be nice if Ghosty stops moving. So let's just don't do anything to the UV channel. And here we have a very cool dark ghost. So that's basically how you use the UV distorter. And yeah, you can play around with all the other files. I'm gonna save this real quick. There. As you can see, there are some sprites in here, but many, many noise textures. Now, what if we wanted to see? How these things might look on something else we can basically pick anything we want i'm just going to go grab this one double click on the element and if you want you over here you can change to any noise texture that we have and you can see the result it will move back to the original one so you can compare let's just pick a random other one maybe we actually want the ghost so we can actually try it on the ghost there it's tiling don't worry we can at least see what this is doing to mr ghost and we can also change the distortion amount so let's do all oh, that tour maybe and every noise texture definitely has a different result this one only has like small spots this is better for like a bit of a water noisy ish effect and now ghost he really feels sick so yeah you can play around with this until you get something that you like and use those hopefully you'll enjoy it and yeah i think that's it take care luo's out